Hello and welcome to this short instruction clip in which we will walk you through the very first step of the FWO evaluation process, informing us about your potential conflicts of interest with the application submitted to your panel and indicating your confidence rates for the evaluation of these applications. This step, which is an important part of the preparation phase of the evaluation procedure, serves to inform us of any potential conflicts of interest you may have with the applications submitted to your panel. It is of course crucial that FWO is aware of any such COIs. Simultaneously, we also ask you to indicate your suitability to act as a reviewer for each of the applications submitted to the panel by indicating your confidence rate for each individual application. This information will be paramount for the chairs of the panel to distribute the appropriate applications for review to you. In order to convey this information to us, you will need to access the FWO ePortal. The evaluation procedure starts with an email from FWO sent by your account administrator. Depending on the domain in which you are working, this email will be sent from bio, cult, gm, int this, med or wt at fwo.be. In this email, you will find a link that directs you to the FWO ePortal. Alternatively, you can access the ePortal via our website or directly via the address shown on this slide. After logging into the ePortal using your personal credentials, you should click Panel Member in the main menu, followed by Conflict of Interest in the submenu. Alternatively, you can click Conflict of Interest on the dashboard. Either way, you will be able to access the Conflict of Interest tool by clicking on the icon shown here. In the COI tool, you will see the expert panel of which you are a member the date of the panel meeting and the deadline for submitting the information concerning conflicts of interest and confidence rates. Click enter to access the information for your panel. Before seeing an overview of the application submitted to your panel, you will be asked to indicate all Flemish institutions to which you are currently affiliated. This information serves to determine any institutional conflict of interest you may have, as you can never act as a direct reviewer of an application submitted by a researcher affiliated to the same institution as you are. Please therefore make sure that you indicate all Flemish institutions to which you are affiliated. After submitting this information, you will see an overview of all applications submitted to your panel in this call. You can access these applications using the pencil icon. For each application, detailed information is available. You can even download the full application file if you wish to consult this. Please consult the basic information about each application carefully and make sure that you are aware of, at the very least, all applicants involved, including supervisors and co-supervisors, and their affiliation, so that you may appropriately determine your own conflicts of interests, if any. For each application, please indicate your conflicts of interest from the drop-down list. These are the conflicts of interest as predefined by the FWO. For the Flemish panel members, a number of conflicts of interest will be pre-filled. These are the conflicts of interest at the institutional level. Please note that even if this conflict of interest is already indicated, more severe conflicts of interest may also apply. For example, you may have published with the applicant in the past three years. It is important that you inform us of all forms of conflict of interest you have with an application, as different COIs may have different consequences for the role you can still play in the evaluation procedure. Please also note that you have the possibility to indicate other conflicts of interest. These are conflicts of interest that are not included in the list formulated by us. They may nonetheless be important, so please use this free text field to inform us correctly. The chairs will take this information into account in the rest of the evaluation procedure. We also ask you to inform us of your suitability to act as a reviewer for each application submitted to your panel by indicating your confidence level using a scale of 1 to 5. 1 stands for understanding the issue without having specific knowledge about it. 
We expect that you will not need to use this lowest score frequently or even at all, since as a generalist in your field with broad expertise, you are presumably knowledgeable about most, if not all, of the applications submitted to your panel. Still, distinguishing between your level of confidence for evaluating the applications using the 2 to 5 rating scale is important, as the chairs will try to allocate each application to the most suitable panel members using the range of expertise present in the panel. Please be mindful of the code of conduct for, from FWO during the full evaluation procedure. One aspect we wish to highlight here is that as a panel member, you act as an independent researcher, not as a representative of your university or research center. It is also important that you are aware of the strict confidentiality of the entire review procedure. This includes the applications, but also the panel discussions and the results of the evaluation procedure in itself. This confidentiality implies that you should not discuss the review procedure with anybody outside the panel, including, and perhaps in the first place, applicants themselves. Should you be approached by applicants, please tell them that you are bound by strict rules on confidentiality, preventing you from discussing their application or any aspect of the review procedure in any way, and refer them to the FWO. Please also notify FWO of any such contact between yourself and an applicant regarding an application. We will then take the appropriate steps. Finally, our external reviewers are found by our partner agency, the European Science Foundation or ASF. If by accident you are contacted by them with a request to act as an external reviewer for an FWO application, please decline this invitation and inform them you are an FWO panel member. We hope the information in this instruction clip was useful to you. Further information on the evaluation procedure in general and the regulations governing the internal review can be found on the FWO website. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the administrative chair of your panel or the account administrator using the corresponding email addresses for your scientific domain. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.